All right, so before I talk about this mission, I'm going to put down a bunch of notes for you guys to observe and uh, read, just so you have more knowledge as to how to properly do things and how to just keep track of everything. There is a total cap of 200k uh, unprocessed and processed materials. And if you already reach the cap on processed materials, whenever you hit the checkpoint, uh, the, your unprocessed materials for that said material will not be touched. It will just stay the way it is. And I like that because then you're just not wasting a bunch of uh, materials for nothing. So in the meantime, you should be, you know, building stuff and just using up those materials as much as possible because you're going to be getting it all back really quick anyways. The first level that I'm showing you right now is the war economy. And the things that you're going to need are stealth camouflage and a lot of GMP because as you guys know, Fultoning a container costs 10,000 GMP each time. And I'm only going after the red containers because the red containers give you the most amount of materials possible. Whereas the white ones only give you a little bit. But the sucky thing about it is both the red and the white container will still cost you 10,000 GMP. So if I'm going to be spending a lot of money, then I might as well be spending it on the highest quality uh, material possible. So I'd advise just strictly going towards the red materials or red material containers as possible. Having the Raiden suit or the Cyborg Ninja suit really helps uh, running through these places because Raiden moves at just as fast, maybe even a little bit faster than cars. So this is pretty great to use for that. Once you have collected all of these uh, red containers on this side, if you're only going after fuel and bio material, then just gather these three and you're going to run out through that gate over there. Um, that gate will be closed when you first come here, but if you just blow it up once and you restart the mission, it'll be gone forever. So then you'll be able to just redo it uh, with no problems. Now if you also want to collect the three red precious metals containers on the other side of the base, once you have collected this one, you're going to run all the way over there. It's a pretty far run, and if you don't have the Raiden suit, I highly recommend not even running this at, on foot, even if you do have stealth camouflage, because it, it just takes a while, you know? Uh, there is one other mission that's uh, just as good, and it will get you that amount of materials decently quick but yeah the three containers are in this hangar and once you have collected these three you're gonna run towards the gate that I run through and again uh, it'll there'll be a gate there when you play this but when you blow it up you only need to blow it up once and when you come back it'll be gone Now I know what you're thinking, uh, maybe you don't have the right outfit, and maybe you don't have stealth camouflage. Um, a good alternative is using the parasite suit with the camouflage parasites. And be mindful of this, whenever you restart mission, you will get a refill of all those uh, things. But if you don't have any of those, uh, get a vehicle and a smoke grenade, and you can do this little tactic, it's really cheesy. But it works, and if you straight up drive towards soldiers while you have a smoke grenade in the back of your car like that, uh, they won't see you. Even though the smoke is clearly behind you, they, they won't see you. It's an interesting little bug, but yeah, uh, it's a great way for you to get around really fast and not be seen. 
So again, you know, you just do the same method as before, but except with the car. And of course, because Nova Braga Airport is pretty damn big, you're going to need that car to get through it pretty quickly. So in the mission Skull Face, there's a lot of materials you can gather from here, but it's just, what I kind of don't like about it is that the distance, like even though I'm using the riding suit, it's still quite a ways to go to the actual base. And if you're using the car, that, that might be even worse, but I don't know, it's really up to you, but this is a really good place to just get everything at once. But, or get everything at once at like average quality. But there are other places that just purely focus on either one or two materials.
when you pass under those arches, they trigger checkpoints. So this place has like three checkpoints really close to each other. And as you can see that there's tanks there as well, so you can fault in those and sell those if you want to earn some extra GMP on the side. Mission accepted. So this mission you can extract a lot of common metal pretty fast and you can easily just restart the mission and do it all over again. It's very close to it. When you land, look to your right and you'll see these two trees right there. Those trees are going to be your landmark that you're always going to refer to every time you drop down. And when you run straight forward from those trees, you'll run into the container. And you're going to extract it and you're going to run directly back to where you came from. And you'll just trigger the checkpoint and you'll just restart mission and do it all over again. This is the only thing that you're going to extract. There's nothing else worth grabbing here. And of course, the last mission that's really good for fuel, minor metal, and precious metal is Hellbound, which I'm pretty sure you've seen uh, hundreds of videos on YouTube already. And I understand it's already there, but I just want to put it in there just to, you know, information-wise. So yeah, just gather these materials, and you're going to go hit that <coughs> intel file, and it'll trigger a checkpoint, and from there on, you just restart mission, and there you go. So, but yeah, this is practically it for the guide. I hope any of this or all of this information helps you. And please share this. Please spread it around so others can, you know, benefit from it. One more thing I want to leave is if you're having trouble earning a lot of GMP in order to do any of these uh, farming runs, I do have another guide on how to earn almost 5 million GMP, which is the cap, in less than 15 minutes. It's a really good uh, strategy, and I'll leave it in the description below. So if you guys need that, then there you go. So take everything that I've given you in mind, and soon enough you'll be gaining like more resources than you can actually just like spend. But yeah, this is GamePro24X, and I'll see you guys later.